Hi, welcome to a video tutorial from Equator. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri. In this video, we are going to use this Casio FX991 ES Plus second edition scientific calculator to convert polar and rectangular coordinates or polar to Cartesian coordinates one to the other. Let's get started with this. And here is an example. We have R this magnitude to this point is 6 and the theta is 36.8 we want to find the x the distance from here in the x-axis and the distance from here in y-axis so for this point and we want to get x and y and because the uh, angle is in degree we have to be in degree so first let's uh, check this by pressing shift and setup make sure it is in degree if not just press 3 and we will see d here now because we want it in rectangular we will be using this button polar and rectangle so every time i, I refer to this i will sh press those because i want you to have larger screen here press shift and then rectangle and you will see r C E or E C and here enter 6 I'm entering 6 and then shift and then this comma and enter 36.8 36 and I'm for for decimal I'm using this 0.8 and then close it after that press equal sign and here it tells you x is equal 4.8 and then why this arrow shows that we can go to the right and see it and I can press all clear this all clear and recall this button recall an X will bring me the X and then recall and Y this X and Y in red color they are ready here and recall Y to get the y value and you can use these values in your calculation like this for example when you when you bring recall x just press left arrow key cursor is here and you can do something or multiply something so you can uh, do some calculation here with it i'm pressing all clear now let's do this example again converting to cartesian we have the vector or the polar coordinate r is equal 6 and for radian we have to press shift setup for radian press 4 and now we have r here now we are pressing shift and rectangle enter the value 6 and then shift comma and then we have pi over 4 for pi we press shift and this button here shift pi and then divide it by 4 and divide it by 4 and close it equal and you see we got x equal 4.24 and then y is here I'm you can go to the right or press all clear recall x and we got the exact value if you want decimal point press this button here and if you want y press y and you get exact value because we got pi over 4 this is 45 degrees so both x and y are the same all clear the value stays in the memory until you save something else and here we want to convert this rectangular x and y x is 4 y is 3.5 and we want to convert them to r and theta so for this point we want to get the r the magnitude or the length of this vector and then the theta press shift and then polar this time because the calculator is set in radian the value will be in radian let's change it to degree 3 degree and let's enter 4 and then shift comma 3.5 shift 
3.5 close it and press equal sign and we got r equal 5.3 that's r and the angle is theta you can scroll to the right it shows here now i press uh, uh, all clear x shows here exact value but if you want in decimal you can see it and then recall y and here it shows y 41.18 and that is the theta so x and y if you convert it to polar would be the angle and the uh, length of the vector and here let's do this one uh, again it is a rectangle to polar press shift and pull four shift comma and then square root of two press square root of two and with the arrow come to the right and then close it press equal here we got r and then and then scroll to the right theta 19.47 if i press all clear recall x will give me the actual value and then recall y will give me the angle now let's see we have this example x is minus 3 on this side and y is minus 4 we are in the third qu uh, quadrant let's find this r the length to this point and the theta from here to here we want to make sure we are in degree or radian whichever you prefer and then shift polar so this time i'm pressing this minus minus three and then shift comma minus four and then close equal sign and as you can see on the screen it shows r is equal five theta is minus 126.86 when you see negative sign it means the calculation is from this side because we want it from the other side we can do something with theta press all clear as i mentioned uh, recall x will give you the r and recall y will give you the angle now we can because this is negative just add 360 so i'm pressing going on this side 360 uh, plus 360 and then equal and the angle is 233 from this point and if you do it in radian it will be the same except the let's press sh and change it to radian and then minus 3 shift comma minus 4 and then close it r and then theta we can recall x get that one and recall y we get minus 2.21 radian from this side and now we have this r equal 3 and then the theta is 40 degrees now we want to find x and y we want it in rectangle press shift rectangle you see we are in radian let's change it to degree press shift and setup and then degree three now go shift and rectangle enter r as three and then shift comma and then the angle 40 this 40 because it's below this line and the opposite direction we have to enter minus 40 i'm entering minus and then four zero and then close it press equal and you will see x is equal 2.29 and y is on this side which is negative let me show it clearly here x is equal 2.29 on this side and then recall y y is equal minus 1.92 which is below this line that's correct to access all my other videos related for this calculator please check the link below the video in the description 
Thank you for watching. This was how to use this Casio FX 991 ES Plus second edition scientific calculator. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, please post it at the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. And don't forget to subscribe so you get updates of my upcoming videos. Or press all clear, recall X. And we got the exact value if you want to 1500 and the answer is 7 over 3 and that's this is our integration and the area under the curve shows like this so from 1 to 2 and as you can see the answer is 2.333 Two three zero two equal three equal zero equal and then it goes to the next one 